It's Matt Malone, and we are backstage with another artist, but this is a little bit different because we're actually backstage in person for the first time doing an in-person interview for, man, a year and a half since, you know, Faster Horses maybe, but Nate Barnes is with us. How are you doing, man? Good, Matt. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I appreciate you, you being here, and, you know, this is kind of a cool thing because obviously you are uh, familiar with the area as you are from, you know, the South Haven, you know, Southwest Michigan area. Um but what I think is so cool is you and I have been in contact here for, you know, several months, and now we're finally making it happen where we're having an opportunity to meet and talk. But even around Christmas time, <laughs> you were able to be back home and, and want to reach out and see, you know, if we can get together. But you seem to be making some trips home from living in Nashville. So before we jump in and talk a little bit more in detail about music and, and career and stuff, um, what does it mean for you to be able to have that availability to come back home and see your family and come back to your hometown from such a big city and what progress you've seen in your career so far? Yeah. Um, well, it, it, it means a lot, you know, it feels always good. You know, I've always, I've done a little traveling and, uh, um, I always took this place for granted growing up and I never realized how special it, it was. And not just that it's the people, you know, and, uh, um, I just I've been so blessed with so many good people in my life in this town and and uh, so to get back home as much as I can it means a lot and uh, it kind of recharges me gets me reset gets me uh, um, they all keep me grounded that's for sure <laughs> good, good, good. well and, and you actually just got back in bright and early this morning too yes yeah. so you went and you did a, a long drive you got here this morning and he got back up to come and do an interview with me. So first, thank you. Uh, I really do appreciate. Oh that. shoot, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, like you were saying, we, we've been trying to. Yeah. I've been trying to meet you for a while. So yeah. thanks for coming and doing this, man. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So you know, we talk about that lifestyle change. We'll say taking this area uh, as what we have, that kind of gem, and then transplanting yourself to Nashville, Tennessee. A completely different change of pace. First, how long have you actually been in Nashville trying to chase this dream? Uh, currently a little over a year and a half, year and a half. So this is kind of crazy because a year and a half, yeah. which normally Nashville is a 10 year town. That's, that's the, yeah. you know, cliche statement that they all say, it's 10 years <laughs> until, but you, you had a really great opportunity where you're actually kind of the, the, the flagship artist for a new record label, Quartz Hill Records. So for somebody who isn't aware, doesn't really know what that means, kind of explain what that means from an artist standpoint and they're building other artists around you as well too right yeah so uh yeah flagship artist that's a weird term Isn't i don't it? i don't <laughs> like that term you know um but that's what they say so yeah. I'll, i guess i'll take sure. it and uh you know courts hill records is the uh, record label i'm signed to and and it's also uh with sony music new york and and uh um you know benny brown was a a, a huge icon for for uh in the country music world and just music in general i mean he uh he broke acts like jason aldean and dustin lynch when in his previous label broken broken bow and and uh so you know he he got out of the game for a few years and in his heart he just felt like he really wanted to uh um, um do 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 more you know do more and uh thank god he did because then when i met him um, he, he wanted me to be the first guy that they, they, uh, uh, put out on their, on their label. And, you know, what it really means is, you know, uh, the team that I have, the staff that I have, I mean, the, those, uh, uh, you know, April Ryder, Matt Galvin, you know, Jason Sellers, Paul Brown, uh, Karen Tallier. I mean, all these people, they're just, le they're legends in the, in they the, really are. they are, I mean, they've been doing it for so long and, and, and a lot of them work together. So it's like a reunion for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, which has been amazing uh, for all of us. And, um, you know, uh, I would say we have a lot to prove because, I mean, we're a brand new label, brand new artists, everything. But uh, um, uh, the, the main thing, you know, we just we're going to do the best we can, put the work in and, and let God do the rest. And, and uh, but I know I've been so blessed with with uh, some an amazing staff and team and with Courts Hill Records. So, yeah. And like you said, you know, having that team they're not they're not new people this isn't a record label that's you know brand new and they've got some interns from some college <laughs> down the road belmont or whatever coming in and these are these are very well established names which means that increases your opportunity and your chance to in yeah. the end, make that 10-year town dream a year and a half two year kind of deal 
Um, and, and we go back to country radio seminars, right? And every day that you're going <laughs> in, it's just Nate Parnes. Oh, Barnes. my gosh. Oh, it's huge. So what was that like for you to be able to get in front of so many people so fast like that? Well, I mean, it, it's – I watched it, of course, yeah. um, and – for a couple of days and it was pretty uh overwhelming you know because it's like uh, like you said they say it's a 10-year town and and uh it's kind of like you know but when you when you uh listen to a lot of artists uh um their stories there was never hey this is the way it's like every way is so random oh, yeah. you know and uh um it's just one of those things and and to to be at this moment and to just walk into this in a sense uh, and to be able to be in CRS and be a part of CRS. Um, my first go around is unbelievable. I mean, there, there's guys waiting years and years to even just to be a part of that. And for me to, you know, but I got to say too, you know, that's again, my, my team, my team is just so amazing. You know, the ideas, all these things that they've learned throughout the years and, and uh, um, you know, in timing. And so, yeah. You know, it's uh, if you don't know what CRS is, if this is kind of uh, a new phrase for you, it's country radio seminars. It's basically where a bunch of country music industry professionals, from artists to uh, radio folks to label people, get together yeah. and they just try to help the industry grow and bring in uh, and recognize not only the current talent that you hear every day on the radio, but you know, younger talent that is you know on the cutting edge of being the next big star. And uh, it really, truly is a big deal, but. Part of this, too, part of this journey is also going on radio tours. Yeah. So what's that been like for you now in a day and age where people aren't in the office anymore, they're, you know, socially distanced, they're, you know, doing all these things uh, due to the pandemic, but you're still trying to do the things that (laughs) they're saying you have to do this in order to be big. That's right. You know, it's, um, we talked about, you know, it's, it's, I guess it's different. I don't know, but uh, it's kind of cool. We're all in this together, figuring it out together. So it's, it's kind of a pretty great spot to be in i think in 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 a lot of ways and 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 uh um being on a radio tour uh i'm i'm learning a lot getting with guys fortunately uh somehow we've been able to to meet a lot of people in person Mm -hmm. and uh uh, which which has been great um but you know what we do really if people don't know you know we just we uh, uh you know get a group of guys get get a band together go out meet radio play play some songs play the single uh talk and and uh but what i've been loving is just the relationships meeting people great people like you like matt and 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 uh um you know just building these relationships meeting all these amazing people out there on the road and being able to go out there and share this music with them is is awesome because one thing that people don't really realize is the rate how important radio is and how vital that is and 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 what it means so much to me to uh uh that like a guy like you playing you ain't pretty it's like it's just unbelievable because you know my whole dream my whole dream since i was a little kid to be able to touch people's lives through songs and and to be able to have that opportunity and i and we can't do it without you guys and to be able to have that opportunity and and uh, if you if you all to give us that it, it is unbelievable Let's talk a little bit more about you, know, you Ain't Pretty. This song is one that, uh, again, is a great message. And I'll admit, when I first <laughs> saw the title, oh, I'm but... like, like, he's just yeah, telling yeah. somebody right there, you're not pretty? Right. What is this? And I'm like, there's got to be more to it. Yeah. So, so I heard it, and I'm like, man, that is a really cool message. So how did this song come to be, and you know, what's kind of the background with it? Well, well I appreciate that, because uh, uh, when you hear hear this, I thought the same thing, too, Matt. You know, Jason Sellers and, and uh, uh, Jimmy Yeary and I co-wrote this song, and when we got together, Jimmy, actually, we were literally playing on this melody, and, and, and we just loved it, the melody that you hear in the beginning and in the intro of the song, and, and Jimmy... Uh, starts talking he says hey guys i got i got this great song idea and we're like come on let's hear it and he says all right the title is you ain't pretty and we looked at and we looked at each other like what are you no no that ain't it you're just joking right he's like no 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 hear me out and he said well just just think about those times that uh, um you with your loved one and y'all about to go out to dinner or whatever you're about to do you can just tell that they're not having a good day something is happening you know something is beating them down um um you know they just don't feel good about themselves and they're trying to get ready and they're trying to and you could just 
what do you do? How can you help that person get through that? Mm -hmm. But then to show them that, hey, you know, not only whatever you're going through, I'm going to be here to help you through that. But it ain't this makeup. It ain't this mirror. It ain't all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. It's this it's it's this right here in your heart and to build that up within not just a woman, but just in all people. And uh, um, um, and when he said that, we were like, we have to write this song. And so that's what the song really is about is is really just is is building people up because there's so much crap out there in in social media and magazines, all this stuff movie that that tells you that if you don't look a certain way, if you don't make enough, if you're this or that, then you're not pretty or you're not good enough, or you're whatever. So we wanted to just cut all that crap out and get down to the basics of of who you really are and 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 not only that, it hit me because, you know, I felt like that a lot in my life, too, those low points. And mm -hmm. and uh, so to have that song, I, I, I can I so can relate, and hopefully people out there can, too. You know, I, I think that that is such a strong thing to be able to say. You know, a lot of social media, um, you know, campaigns or, or uh, trends, if you will, mm -hmm. are, are so much of, you know, how to, how to do a makeup tutorial like this and, you know, having a positive message to reinforce the other end of that spectrum of, you don't need all this stuff. Let's, you know, wash the makeup off. Let's just be who you are. Uh, so needed. Yeah. This time, you know? However, I do feel like there's a promotional opportunity for this. So right. <laughs> Love it here. All right. So this Come is going to be the You Ain't Pretty makeup tutorial campaign with, uh, with Nate Barnes. And, and so what I think you should do is figure out a way to do a certain makeup tutorial and then at the end of it every time to say wash it off you don't need it you're, you're pretty as you are or something along those lines I dig it Just I, it. I dig know? it you can do it as a 20 second yeah second TikTok or something I don't do TikTok <laughs> so if you're good at that I'm great. terrible at the TikTok I don't I don't know how to do none of this stuff oh no, yeah you use a green screen I don't know <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the the other song too that you have here. Um, you know the the phrasing to uh, write about me, wrong about you, and in that the way that that hits you. So the song title itself is "Write About Me." Is that right? That's right. That's correct. And "Write About Me, Wrong About You" about you know people are right about me, but you you somehow you stuck with me, and I don't know why, but you did. <laughs> so is this a, a song too that you know we could see as a potential single in the future? And give us a little bit more information about that song. Well, uh, yeah, well, you know, the song right about me, that it, it's just, it's, I think it's just such a, uh, relevant song. I mean, I know I've, I have been in relationships where people looked at the girl and, and said, what are you doing? There's no way that's good. You know what I mean? And, uh, uh, um, not because I was just some crazy bad guy, but I was, you know, a little rough and, and, uh, a little loud and wild and, you know, and, and, uh, um, but you know that song is about you know don't don't it's not about what it looks like on the outside mm -hmm. everybody love is love you know and uh, um it's about a guy that he does have a good heart mm -hmm. he's a little wild but and that girl you know and everybody and they're together and they're like man that guy ain't going to change and so so that's what that song is about and uh, which I love singing it and and uh I really don't know if that's going to be single Matt you know I don't know I don't make those I don't make those decisions. I know uh, uh, Benny Brown is one of the, the 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 most genius guys on songs, and what in 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 and I love him to death. And and uh, so uh, if he picks it, I'll sing it. There you go. <laughs> it's whatever the boss wants, the boss gets. So Come on, it's a good choice. When you have a platform, country music, when you're an artist and you're going uh, and making your career, you find that there's a lot of people that might reach out and say hey you know we've got this charitable cause we've got this this thing we'd love for you to be a part of it you have to be you know obviously aware of a lot of different things but i want to know what is a cause that you're passionate about as an as an artist mm -hmm. um or as a person as a human being that when you get to that point where there's a lot of you know uh budgetary freedom we'll say, or, or you know things that you're going to be able to commit to what is that cause that you yeah. are going to say you know what this is what i want to put yeah. my name behind well one would be uh uh it's my astinia gravis it's uh, uh um um my mom um has had it for uh, a lot of years and and uh i've seen a lot of her struggles through that and but a lot of her successes through that as well um so that would be one thing i would probably uh, awareness of that and uh, um, 
that and probably bullying actually bullying is a is a um is, is something that i just don't i don't tolerate and and i know a lot of people out there uh, that happens to, and it really affects them. So uh, that's something probably I would, if anything, just go to, I would love to go to schools and just say, man, just talk about, hey, you know, um, it, it encourage them to always be who they are and, and don't ever be afraid to show who you are, no matter what. Yeah, that's good. It's a good cause. So songwriting, obviously very important with country music, with artists. Who are some other songs, or who are some other artists that maybe you've been able to go and uh, write with and uh, maybe even collaborations that might happen. If you can sell us, I yeah, know, I can't. I know, I know no, I can't. Say, I can't. Say, yeah, no. <laughs> can I tell you? Uh, uh, I mean, I'm so new and stuff. This sure. is I got a long ways to go, God willing. And uh, 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 a guy. This sounds weird, but uh, um, it doesn't sound weird. Tyler Childers. I would oh, yeah. love to write with Tyler Childers. Yeah. Oh my gosh! All right, well, Tyler, let's make it happen. Nate Barnes. Come on, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, he's actually, he's one of those names, too, that uh, definitely well-known in the industry, too. Oh, yeah. There's so many of those songwriters. Who is maybe somebody that, outside of songwriting, that you could see yourself on the road with to help develop even further? Songwriting, artist, stage presence, all of those things as, as a total, complete package. Man, I don't know. I, I mean, Jason Sellers has been a guy that's been like my coach since ever since I've been in town and I couldn't think of any anybody better than him to 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 help me get through this sure show me the way yeah I mean I, I yeah I think yeah Jason all right yeah Jason it is all right there you go any uh any other artists that you might want to tour with or that you uh would like to throw that pitch out to and say hey I'll do whatever you need <laughs> Luke Combs Jason Aldean Tim McGraw, George Strait, please, man, come back. I know you will come back. You know, George Strait, yeah. Good choice. Good choice. You know, for somebody who's just getting to know you, mm-hmm. getting to know your music, getting to know, uh, you know, what they might come to expect if they were to come and see it, Nate Barnes in concert. What do you want them to know about you and your show and your style? Well, I'm just a normal small town guy. Just trying to sing country music and let you have a biggest party that you ever had in your life. That's what we're trying to do. Forget your worries when you come. You're gonna leave so happy and on fire that you want. You're gonna just keep wanting to come back. So that's 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 my promise, and that's that's what we're trying to do. Excellent. It's all about you. Excellent. Well, we appreciate you uh, hanging out with us, doing an interview, uh, giving us a little bit more insight to who you are, uh, a little bit more about your path to Nashville, and uh, we look forward to obviously having you back home here. Uh, again, very soon. We'll do this again, all right? Yes, I'm ready. Come Let's on. Make it happen. All right, there you go. Backstage with Nate Barnes.